Have you ever wondered why you feel happy or sad sometimes? No, it isn't because your parents got you ice cream or because your friends stole your favorite pencil. You see, there are a lot of things going underneath the surface. Here's what's happening inside your brain. Did you know your brain is made up of 80 billion brain units known as neurons, all of which work together to help control your mood? The neuron is made up of different parts, the soma, the dendrites, and the exon. The neuron is a type of communication system. Think of it this way. The soma, which we call the headquarters, send a signal through an electric wire known as exon, which tells trucks at the end of the terminals to produce more neurotransmitter packages. Once these loaded trucks give a green light to go, they are released into the empty space between two neurons. Its job is to make its way across a very short path to the next neuron where another electric signal is generated. This is how most signals spread throughout the entire brain. The content of the trucks can change how you feel because what packages are made, how many packages are delivered, and which neuron the truck delivers all determine what emotion we feel. For example, when your parents buy you ice cream, the truck contains specific neurotransmitters which we can call our happy chemicals like serotonin and endorphins. Receive the green light to leave the factory and heads off to another factory. When this process happens in multiple neurons in the brain, the result is the feeling of happiness. On the other hand, if you dropped your ice cream, the mini factories inside your brain stop creating the happy neurotransmitters and instead create sad neurotransmitters such as cortisol. This results in the feeling of sadness. Emotions aren't like a light switch. They move like a teeter-totter. Different balances of happy and sad chemicals can produce different level and types of emotions. The presence of every emotion has its value and is valid. This balance between sad and happy is changing throughout minutes, days and even years. That's why your emotions change. So remember, the next time you feel happy or sad, your brain chemicals are all working together to make these different emotions that make you who you are.